He did it. He really did it. What's up, gang? It's your boy Sebastian. I had to redo the video. It was just too big to even shrink down. As you guys can see right there, I'm trying to shrink it again, but that's fine. So, you know, majority of the days I trade ES, right? And I trade off of the 200 EMAs. And as you can see on ES, which is because it's printing all day long, the 200 EMA is always a little bit closer. So for you people over on SPY, like the five minute, it'll be literally like below where the trade is going. The 15 minute, it'll be way below. So on days where you run up, it's not going to be the exact same setup. So you're using your supply and demand, which is my blue lines here that I have here. These are my uh, demand zones and my supply zones, right? We're running, running, running. We break the supply zone and we perfectly fall back to it and just stay above it. We've been consolidating ever since. So how do you do swings, right? So swings, we won't do the first. Let's go to MES so I can make it a little smaller. You're gonna start to notice swings happen off of the weekly. The heck? screen and the daily right so let's go ahead and click OK here close that out go to the weekly I just took a trade and as you guys can see right we fell all the way down here and you're on the one hour so we're on the weekly we fell all the way down there refresh the screen and look at this so the weekly will tell you the end of the year, October, when we were in that little trading situation where we were pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, we did what? We hit the 200 EMA for the weekly. You gotta wait for it to break below. And then as it's working its way back up into it and you don't see it falling much further, you now know that, okay, cool, I could take me a swing to the upside. So you had an opportunity to get in right here. Let's say you missed that one. It's going, it's going, it's going. The days are going by. Months are going by, month goes by. You got another opportunity here in December. That was your last opportunity to get in before it just started to run and run. So in December, and this works for every single stock, okay? I want you guys to remember this. Obviously, this is it was a different price in December, but in December, $20. This is NVIDIA. I'm doing the reason I'm doing NVIDIA is because I want to show you guys that it works on every stock. So we were down here on NVIDIA at $20 back then. That was probably like 100, 200, 300, whatever the case was. We are up over $100 on NVIDIA since the time we hit this. But it doesn't just work there. It worked also in 2019. 2019 in January, hit there. And I want you guys to see how identical this is. We hit there, we went through, we gave you another opportunity. We went through again, we gave you another opportunity. It ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran like crazy right went all the way up here and then fell and fell and fell so you're gonna have another opportunity to do this again fell through came back up went back up gave you a couple more opportunities to enter trades there to the upside and then it just ran forever so this is years this is years years that this happens it happens on a yearly basis okay go back even further 2019 to 2017 2017 it happened again we were pushing down pushing down pushing down we touched right here let's see where we go below we go below it march of 2014 right and this is just it was a newer stock back then so it's consolidating but still pushing up every time you have the opportunity for like a massive hit and uh it comes through the the weekly it'll give you a massive opportunity to get in again but then run all the way up here comes back down doesn't hit doesn't hit doesn't hit we don't hit for a full two years okay for two years that was a 2020 year come back again massive leap again okay but now we're starting to do this because of ai and the ai boom we're starting to do this more frequently so let's go to the daily now now on the daily on the other hand the daily is giving it up a little bit more often so here we are 2023 let's go to october October was when things started falling and started to run. October 2023 started to go up. You get above it right there. You get the warning, comes back down. You see right here that it's got this nice flat level that we can't break. And I actually had lines back then. Can't break this, can't break this. Wicks down a little bit, starts to push up. As soon as you get above this 200 EMA, you're looking for the nice push to the upside like we had previously. Uh, this will be like a first take profit area. Bounce down, get another opportunity to enter, get another opportunity to enter, and it goes. And this is on the this is on the daily now. It goes forever, right? Same thing. Spy weekly. Refresh. 
Spy, weekly time frame. Spy's even better because Spy 2019 gave you that opportunity. Came down, came back through. You could take the trade. So you go from 239 all the way up to 337 and then you fall again and then you stop there and then you wait for the fall through and it comes back up you get another opportunity so now you're at 268 right we're coming up we're, it's always going to be rising it's rising higher right so we're at 266 now right here and it ran all the way until it reached 476 dollars 266 to 476 that was a 200 dollars play and that's in 2021 Okay, comes back down to the 200 EMA on the daily again, hits it, gives you an opportunity to go from 365 to 430, comes back down again. And I want you guys to see this repeated pattern. It goes up, touches it, goes up a little bit, pulls back down, breaks through, goes back up and then runs. Right. So then I come back down to it right there. This is September 20, uh, 2022. We go through it. We come back up. Now we're at 468. A little bit higher than last time, right? 464, 468. Guess what? We never see it come back until now when we hit 460, I mean 564. Uh, so we went from 360 to 564. So another $200 run. And these are leaps. These are, these are long swings. So this is 2023 January until now. It's been running up and up and up and up, right? So then you're like, okay, cool. That's, this is the weekly. Let's go to the daily. Now we're on the daily. So now we're getting into this year alone. October last year, it gave you what? So this was uh, March of the year prior. Gave you the same opportunity to get in right here. Take a little bit of a push. Fall all the way down again. Don't quite fall to the low. Get above it. Doesn't come back. It goes from 400 to 459, 460. You guys remember that summertime, that summer, summer, summertime last year when I joined the promised land. OK, cool. We start falling again, struggling. Get on down to the uh, 200 EMA again on September 2023. Does what? Falls through, gives you an opportunity to get a little bit, falls through even further, starts pulling up. We get above it again. So we remember this entry right here, 425. This entry is a little bit higher, 427. And it runs and runs and runs and runs all the way up to 565 cool boom you get this level right here a little bit lower you got another opportunity right here on the daily where it almost came down and touched again to 510 and you saw that we couldn't break this area right here another great opportunity to take your swing off 510 as you can see it's basically it would have been touching if it was this week but it's not so it touched right there ran all the way back up another 50 dollars trade i'm gonna show you guys something else though four hour time frame Oh snap, we're in the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame is giving this up on a regular basis. So four hour time frame is even tighter, right? Boom, come through, we're staying under, we're staying under, we're going above, you're not getting as much. We fall again, which the four hours even giving a more true range for you to get in right here, right? So now you're in right here at 432. You ain't seen that thing come back until it hit 524, almost $100, but guess what? You got another opportunity. It came back down again. It hit off of it right here at 493. And like Eminem says, you just, you got to lose yourself in the moment. The moment you want it, you got to never let it go. So you get in right there and it's at 494 and then it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes and you're at 560, 565. So you're like, okay, I missed that play, but you get another opportunity to get into the plate yet again because we start falling again. History repeats itself. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. And the whole time you're like, well, where do I get in? I'm trying to get in right here. It's not making any sense. You just wait. You're patient. Let it fall through. Where's it falling through to? Isn't that kind of weird that it fell through to the exact same place right here where the gap happened? We fell through to this gap. We didn't feel the gap, but we fell through to the gap. Exactly. And then you had the opportunity. But let's say you didn't get in right here at 510 off the one day, off the daily. You're waiting for the four hour to come through. We break through. We come back down. We break through again. And you got that opportunity in here at 528. And you made $30 off the four hours. So for a short term swing, four hours. For the longer swing, the daily, the weekly, right? And it happens just the exact same way it happens for me when I'm trading off of the five minutes for ES, right? So five minutes on ES. Okay, cool. You see, we, we hit up here. We never came back. But look down here. We had the opportunity on Monday to get into the trade, take the master trade out of the five minute time frame all the way up. And it ran and ran and ran and never came back. So now we're coming back to like the five minute right now way up here, which is in line with this part right here at 527, right? You guys see where we're going, right? Took my trade right here, got out early and the uh, when it started to consolidate. 
we run all the way down to my blue line that I have there. Let me unlock my screen so that you can see that. This is why you never take your zones away. You wanna know where it's going. It's going to your previous zone. That becomes the floor. So we're pulling down, we're pulling down, we're pulling down. And then, so what would the next zone be, right? The next zone is way down here at 97. Obviously we're not going there, so we'll, we'll have a cutoff point. But we're heading towards my zone. And then once we tap, we'll see if we bounce. Let's go ahead and refresh this to make it a little bit smaller. We'll see if we bounce. But it went from zone to zone. So zone to zone is over $10. So that's a $10 move right there that we're sitting at right now currently. Looks like we can't break it. So it's just a little bit above our zone. It's creating a floor. We'll see if it can push down to our zone. But we seem to be creating a floor right about here. Right? Let's go to the five minute time frame. Five minute time frame. You can see clear as day that we've been just above my line the entire time. We're at the 200 EMA for the five minute. As I said, we were going to go down to the 200 EMA. I said in the video that I'm putting out uh, in a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna see if we can break down to about right here and get some of this candle back. It just depends on if today's a weekday. If not, we can stay in this range that we created already and just bounce up and down within that range. But we should take some of this gap before we go up. So let's go to the 15 minute now. The 15 minute is at exactly 600. So if we felt that'd be like quite a fall. I'm not looking for that, but I'm looking to get into at least this 14 area. You know, if not stay above this line right here, that's perfectly fine too. But I'll take whatever it's giving me.